Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today is Friday which means it is book review Friday once again and you guys are going to be proud of me. We have another Christmas horror book. I am so excited. I'm going to try to do more of these because I am obsessed with Christmas horror at the moment. They are so much fun <laughs> but I am trying to do more before Christmas, okay? I'm gonna try my hardest, all right? But today we're talking about Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer, I believe is how you say his last name. I am not quite sure. I hope that's correct. But yes, look at this. My poor ring light's gonna make the glossiness a little annoying, but I am so excited to talk about this book. I knew immediately when I saw the cover of this book that I had to have it because it is beautiful. Look at this cover, okay? Hold on, sorry, the glare, I know. But it is just full on Christmas. It is a full on Christmas, colorful, beautiful cover. We have the reds, we have the greens. I love this package with the glowing red eyes. It's just, oh, it's so cool. I just, I love it. I love right here that the tag says for Lucy, who is our main character. I just think everything about this is so beautiful. Mm, it's just so cute. I love it so, so much. The spine is also striped, just like the package. There, that's a better, but you can see it's striped, just like the package, which I think is super cute. And I just think this is so much fun. So, as you can tell, I obviously love the cover. But let's get into a synopsis and I will tell you guys what this book is about and my thoughts. Lucy Meyer works in the publishing world, but she is in desperate need of a new job. She finds herself interviewing at Blackwood Patterson, which is a very, very well-known publishing company. The fit isn't perfect, especially since Lucy works in the horror genre and pretty much everyone at Blackwood Patterson finds the horror genre to not be worthy of publishing. But strange and very weird events lead to Lucy actually getting the job, but she has a very heavy task in front of her. The task that she is given is to find the next Stephen King. She is appointed the task of finding the next biggest horror author of the 80s. Starting a new job is always a little hard. It takes some adjustment, it takes some time to get used to everything, but when your coworkers seem to dislike you from the moment you say hello, kind of turns into a nightmare. Lucy seems to be the target of some friendly workspace hazing, except it's not really all that friendly. When the office holds its yearly Secret Santa gift exchange, Lucy's Secret Santa gifts her a very weird and creepy object. Lucy actually is familiar with the object that is given to her, but she's very confused as to why she is given the object and who could have given it to her. Suddenly, her coworkers start ending up in very serious accidents. Accidents that Lucy thinks are related to her Secret Santa gift. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you about the synopsis. Let's get into my overall thoughts and opinions on this book. First of all, I really like when books tell a story from the publishing side of books. I don't know much about the publishing world because I'm not an author, I don't work in that sort of thing. But as a reader, I don't really get a glimpse into the publishing world that often because I see the final product. I see the book that is sent out and sold and that's what I see. I just see the final product, the end result. I don't ever see the behind the scenes kind of thing. I only ever see the book. And I just find it fascinating to know what goes into making a book because it kind of seems easy when you're not really thinking about it, when you're just like, oh, a book, yeah, I could write a book. And then you, you really look into that and you're like, oh, it's hard. <laughs> like, it's a hard, hard world to be in and to write books. It's definitely hard. I commend anyone who 
writes books for a living because that's a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of dedication but yeah I just don't see a lot of that because of I'm on the other side so I always find it fascinating when books give me a little glimpse into the publishing side of books. The overall plot is really fun and interesting. When I first read it I knew that I was going to have to get it because I don't know the idea of a secret Santa gift being scary I don't know I just the only thing I could think of is imagine you do the secret Santa at work and you think everyone likes you or you know you don't have any problems with anyone and someone draws your name you don't know who it is and you get your gift and it's just something evil <laughs> And you're like, oh, this person like actually hates me and they want me dead. That's not exactly what the book is like, but that's just kind of what I imagined when I heard, you know, secret Santa gift bad things. I was like, oh, it's gonna be something really bad. Someone hates her, you know? And it's kind of like that, but it's also not like that at all. <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense, but I can't tell you too much without giving stuff away. The campy 80s feel is always a big hit with me. I love books or movies set in the 80s. I just think they're fun. They're a little over the top. They're a little silly. They're a little kind of, you know, jokey, but I don't know. I always think that's kind of fun and I expect it. So when it happens, I'm not disappointed. I'm not expecting something super terrifying. I'm expecting something campy and silly and that kind of thing so I guess I'm never that disappointed if it's not the scariest book I've ever read because I don't expect that from these campy 80s kind of things. I more expect a fun interesting kind of just fun read. It just is supposed to be fun. That's how I expect it so yeah it's always a big hit with me with the 80s feel. It's always a good time. I always enjoy it. It also seemed to poke fun at the horror genre and had some horror cliches in there, which I thought was fun. It was cute. It made me giggle. I didn't find the comedy to be too cringy or too annoying. I know sometimes with horror and comedy, it can be too much or just not funny. I know sometimes I get a little annoyed if everything's just supposed to be funny or if the jokes just aren't funny at all and I don't laugh, then I get a little frustrated with that, but I did like the jokes. They did make me laugh. I didn't find them to be too annoying or anything like that. So that's a good thing if you are a fan of horror and comedy. I think this was a good, you know, good little mashup. Okay, so I will say that I don't think this is scary. Now, I don't know how scary this is supposed to be because my scary meter is kind of messed up. Like I've told you guys, I've don't really get scared too often so it's hard for me to find something that scares me so I'm unsure if this is supposed to come off as scary or if it is supposed to be more of just a comedy with some little thrills in there. I'm not so sure because it is labeled a horror but I didn't find it scary. Now, like I said, I was only slightly disappointed because when I get a book with that campy 80s feel, I know that I'm not going to be as scared as I know I will with something else. So I was only slightly disappointed with the unscariness of this book. But like I said, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be scary. I am not quite sure what the author was trying to get. I don't know if this was just supposed to be like a fun little lighthearted book with some, you know, mystery, some creepiness thrown in. And if that's what uh, the author was trying to do, then I think they accomplished it because that's exactly what this was, but it's not scary. So don't go into this with the idea that you're going to get some really creepy Christmas spooktacular vibes because it's not really that in my opinion, maybe someone else thinks differently. But just because I didn't find it scary doesn't mean that I didn't find it entertaining or fun. Like I said, this is a very fun read. It's very entertaining and I did enjoy it. So, you know, just keep that in mind that it's not scary. I found that some parts of this book were pretty predictable 
And again, I don't know if that's the idea because this is kind of a joke on horror. Like, it is kind of making fun of horror a little bit. So I don't know if that's the idea that it was just supposed to be predictable. So like, haha, horror is predictable, that kind of thing. Um, I did know what the Secret Santa gift was very early on, like extremely early on like extremely early on. I feel like it was pretty obvious and I feel like the Secret Santa gift kind of lost the element of scary because you knew what it was going to be so fast. And that was kind of annoying because I was kind of hoping for this really scary Secret Santa gift exchange. It was going to be really horrific and freaky and scary. Again, it wasn't because I knew what the gift was going to be within like 15 pages. <laughs> so, um, predictable. It was predictable, but again, I don't know if that's the idea. It's supposed to be predictable if that was the joke. If that was the joke, then I think it succeeded. So, I really liked Lucy, the main character. I thought she was funny, I thought she was entertaining, I thought she was pretty smart, she was a pretty good main character. I was rooting for her the entire time, so she wasn't, like, annoying or anything like that. However, <laughs> I just want to put this as a quick little note. I just want to go back to my synopsis really quick. I said that Lucy was familiar with the object she got in her Secret Santa gift. Do you remember me saying that? So, why did it take her so long to figure out what was going on at the office? All these co-workers start mysteriously getting hurt, these accidents start occurring, her secret Santa gift is creepy and spooky, but she's familiar with it. Come on, Lucy, put two and two together. I mean, you were a little slow on that. You were a little slow. Just like a tiny bit. That kind of annoyed me because if you're familiar with the object you got, I just feel like you should have known a little faster, okay? I like you, but that was, was slightly annoying. Mm, slightly annoying. This is going to be a really weird fact that I liked about the book because it really doesn't have any merit on the story or if it made it a good book or anything like that. I just really liked that Lucy's name was spelled L-U-S-S-I instead of L-U-C-Y. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of fun and I really liked reading her name written that way. So that's just a weird thing that I liked about the book, but that's something I liked about the book as well. So this I did not mention in my synopsis and I don't wanna to give too much away about it, but the topic of Nazis and the occult are in this book. I found it very interesting because it's a topic that I don't see used a lot in books, but I think it's a really smart topic to talk about. However, I do wish that the book had given a little more detail on that sort of thing and a little bit more explanation because it is mentioned but it's really not talked about too too much. It's just kind of thrown in there and you don't really get to learn about anything else. And I know that it's not, you know, a lesson. This book isn't teaching you anything. It's just like for fun. But it would have been interesting to just like know like a little bit more information just to tie everything together a little bit more but you know, I just would have liked to see it expanded upon a little bit more. That's just me wanting more information, like always. I feel like I always critique books like that. I'm like, I wish I had more information. So that's just like a me thing. I don't know if other people felt that way. It's just something I personally would have liked to see. The ending was really fun. I enjoyed it. However, predictable. Like I said, there are very predictable elements <laughs> to this book and the ending was fairly predictable. It's not anything new. It's not anything that we haven't seen before. So again, I don't know if that's like a joke about this book. I feel like this joke is making fun of horror. And if it is, then good on the author. You know, it was done good. But um, yeah, it is, it is predictable. It's obvious. It's not anything new or groundbreaking or anything like that. But it was fun and I did enjoy it. 
overall, I really enjoyed the book. I thought it was a lot of fun. It was entertaining. It put me in a festive, Christmassy mood, which is what I am expecting from these books. So that's great. It did its job. There are the minor things that I talked about, like it not being as scary as I wanted, or the um, predictability of this book. But again, not sure if that was on purpose or if that's just kind of what happened. So unsure on that, but the minor flaws that I felt were there didn't deter too much from the story. It was still enjoyable, it was still readable, it was still fun, and I liked it. So I'm not mad that I read it, I'm not mad that I spent time, you know, buying it, reading it, and then filming this review. I think it's fun, and I did like it. So just keep that in mind if if you are on the hunt for something really scary and really spooky Christmassy, this one might not be for you, but if you want something a little bit more lighthearted in the Christmas spirit horror genre, I think this is a good one to check out. I liked it. I, it's not going to get a bad review from me. I'm probably going to give it about four stars on Goodreads. So overall, I'm pleased I read it. It was fun. It did its job. I liked it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. I hope I'm saying his name right. Still don't know. I'm very sorry. What's new with me and pronouncing names? We should already know this by now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you've read this book and what you thought about it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to check it out because I do think it's worth checking out. I thought it was fun. And let me know if you like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about makeup, movies, books, horror, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a really great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!